When a little boy got onto the school bus crying this driver knew the kid needed his help On a cold morning in Washington a child was crying when he got onto his school bus and the reasons behind the tears were heartbreaking Thankfully his caring bus driver knew what to do to help the driver was 52 year old John Lunsford a US Army veteran who had worked as a driver of school buses in Washington for three years He's married to Debbie Lunsford and their grandparents He was chauffeuring students around the Kennewick School District on a bitter Thursday in December 2016 It was on that morning when he picked up a regular young rider, but the driver was sad to see that the boy was crying Notably the six-year-old was so cold that he was in tears his hands and ears were uncovered and red from the freezing temperature Consequently John knew he had to do something to help him feel better as a grandfather himself John couldn't bear to see a child suffering He just wanted to make him feel warm and ease the pain. I'm a grandfather You know John said no one wants a kid to suffer like that Selflessly he took his own gloves off and gave them to the boy. He told them it'll be okay He then continued to drive his morning route to the school, but that wouldn't be the end to John's kindness after taking the kids to school, he went to a dollar store to buy things to help the kids on these snowy days in Kennewick. To that end, he purchased 10 hats and pairs of gloves in pink and black. He then headed back to the school where an administrator led him to the boy in the library. That's when John gave away the first set of the hat and gloves. He subsequently invited all the young riders from his bus journey to help themselves to what they needed. Then a little girl approached him and said she didn't have a hat, to which John replied, I'll take care of you sweetie he gave her a hat and then other children followed to get what they didn't already have When asked why he thought the boy had gone without warm clothing on such a cold day John told inside edition. He was not 100% sure he suspected that the gloves and hat had merely been left at home by accident He was just glad to help when he could Kennewick school district shared this heartwarming story on their Facebook page along with a photo of their bus driver Subsequently the post went viral and has received more than 15,000 likes and 3,000 shares The Facebook post said our staff members have big hearts and on Thursday one bus driver acted when he saw a student in need The student was crying when he boarded John Lunsford's bus Lunsford noticed how red the students exposed hands and ears were after he'd waited for the bus in the freezing temperatures that morning The post went on to explain the events of the day then the school district followed it with an update Asking for people to donate to help local schools. It said thank you for the overwhelming and positive response to this story If you're interested in helping more Kennewick children in need with items such as hats gloves coats and shoes Please donate to invested Invested is a running program to help Kennewick students in need It's accepting donations clothing or a minimum of five dollars to go directly to the chosen schools in the area that money is then used to make a difference in a child's life it will help the kids who are going without basic items and opportunities The post has garnered more than 1,000 comments from people praising John for his kindness Teresa Morley Swart wrote mr. Lunsford. Thank you for being such a kind man What you did for that little boy and what you will do for the rest of the children to come will never be forgotten by them The act of love you showed them shows you're a true hero The top comment was a long post written by his wife Debbie she wrote little did we know how this story would spread my husband has always been a giving person and does so without want of any recognition However, a few of the readers were concerned about the reasons behind the boys tears So they had commented with questions They wondered if there was a possibility of child neglect since the boy was without appropriate clothing Consequently Debbie went on to clarify the questions that people had the little boy in the story is six years old and had either lost his items or had left them at home that day Kids do that his parents were not being neglectful nor was that indicated anywhere in the story What mattered that day is that he was cold and my husband could do something about it at the end of her post She thanked everyone for their kind words towards her husband. She wrote on behalf of my husband Please accept our deepest appreciation for your kind words Indeed John is a great example that many should follow he has a warm heart which led to the warmth that many children needed We like many others who've seen his story Thank him for his selflessness. May school bus drivers continue to make a difference. Please share this video with your friends below.